chosen one chosen one hey what's up uh, i'm going to show you how i made this lip sync from scratch using the metahuman face helper here uh, i've gotten it to the point where we have some preset visemes and uh, everything's kind of working as uh as i'd like it to so we're going to start by just deleting all the keys here you'll see that we're working with a metahuman the body the face and the control rig and we're going to work all the way out here. We're not going to look at any of the actual sub controls going on in there. And I have an audio track that I've recorded in Premiere that says chosen one, chosen one. So the first thing uh, I'm going to show you is that we're going to break this into phonemes. And you'll see that the face actually didn't reset all the way. So what I'm going to do is click it back into neutral there. That's our neutral one. So this says chosen one. So it's going to be, I'm going to step through it really quickly. It's ch o so it's cho zin zin wan. So cho zin wan, right? You want to think about it in phonemes, which are single sound units. Not how it's spelled, but how it comes out as single sound units like that. So we'll come up here and we're going to go about here. The cha starts to happen. So we're going to go to the cha here, cha chair, like that. Then I'm going to go a little forward. You see that the, the waveform gets bigger here. That's the O coming out. So basically right before that is still CH. I'm going to hold it. You could actually, uh, if you look at the controls that are making a CH, you could animate them getting higher. So we could go actually to like this one. This is CH. Like in the beginning, we could lower how much CH that is, which is like kind of like this. So it kind of like ramps up the CH. And then when we get to here, it's O. So chosen. So O like that. O. I'll play it just like what we have. Chosen one. Right, so it's, you saw it like kind of coming together. So cho. About here, it turns into an S. But I'm going to hold the O again uh, about here. We can animate how much the O is happening or something even in between if you wanted to. Uh, go back. Right here, the S sound is coming in. It could be like a Z sound too. I think that's kind of similar here. So TDS. Chose. And about here is the the N of chosen. Where is that? Uh, L and N. So we'll go like that. So let's check out what we have so far. Chosen one. Kind of pops for a second. Chosen one. So it takes time, but we have chosen. Chosen. And then we're going to look for the one, the wa. It's about here. So we'll drop the wan in there. And about here we have the on. So I'm going to call that ah, like wan. And then we're finally going to end with an N sound here. And then here I'll close my mouth back to neutral. So let's check it out from the beginning. Chosen one. I feel like it, the playback is still choppy. Chosen one. Chosen one. Chosen one. Chosen one. So that is the general um, workflow for doing like your initial laydown of lip sync. And this plugin workflow here um, widget uh, is best for now anyway, for doing lip sync from scratch, because you'll just throw it down like this. We don't get into curves. We don't do overlaps. We don't do timing shifts and some fancy other stuff. And we really only concentrate on like the must use visiums. I'm sorry, uh, controls here for the face. And it'll give you results like this. And then you would go and animate the face um, for the emotion after. You would start to look at the nose and the eyes and the eyebrows. And animating that stuff, I might make a control board for that too. Really doesn't have to be too difficult. Um, it's possible, I haven't tried it yet, that we could use this same workflow for cleaning up ARKit data, which is going to have a hard time hitting uh, MBP, TDS, and F and V, like FV. ARKit has a hard time hitting these, so it's possible that we could take ARKit data and then just go click these when we need to and just make sure it's not popping. And this is the general workflow. Some new stuff you'll see is that uh, when we hit a key, it'll actually show you what uh, controls are being activated. So I'll step through it, right? So this, uh, these are the different controls. You'll see that was a hold. I think that hold feels kind of bad, actually. I'm going to take that down, try taking that away. Uh, and as I step through the different keys, which are basically just the uh, control sets for phonemes here, 
that it'll tell you which ones are being used and how much, and then you can lower them or you know increase them to make them more uh, pronounced. Chosen one, chosen one. Yeah, I like it better without the hold. And so again, this is for neutral, like expressionless, minimal lip sync to have it look very normal where we're not getting super wide faced or anything having to do with expression, but just getting the actual lip sync down. Uh, I've boiled it down to these 11 controls and then programmed in some pretty reasonable, I think good looking visemes, which are like the visual uh, representation of the phoneme. And it will give you a result like this rather quickly. Chosen one. So that wraps it up for this demo, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.